Hello everyone, welcome to today's pick a card reading. So today we're going to do a spread to see how the person on your mind currently feels about you. So we're going to do a spread, like I said, we're going to see what they currently like about you, what do they want from you, what is holding them back, and what will it take to win them on your side. So we are going to shuffle here, oh, okay and get a card for each group. So for group number one, we have the card number 30, healing. How does a person feel? Card number three, true love for group number two. And card 15, Spy, for group number three. So use your intuition and see which card is calling to you so you know what reading is best for you. Perhaps it's the number on the card, the image, or you're just feeling drawn to it. You can also take a look at the timestamps down below. Pause the video if you need more time, and I will see you in your reading. Welcome group number one to your reading. So if you don't already, please um, bring to mind a specific person who you want to know what their current feelings are towards you. So think of that person and I will shuffle here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading. Thank you, Spirit, for your clear and accurate messages today. How does the person on group number one's mind currently feel about them? So card number one, card position one, what does this person like about group number one? What do they want from group number one? What do they want from group number one? What do they want? That's funny. This card specifically came out when I was shuffling before even starting. What is holding them back? And what will it take to win them on their side? We do have the nine of wands on the bottom here. We can take that into account here. So what does the person on your mind or how does the person on your mind currently feel about you? What do they like about you? It really does seem like this person on your mind likes, they have this idea that maybe you're not wanting something emotional excuse me, or committed with them right now. And I feel like they like that. Maybe it hasn't gotten to a super vulnerable, emotional place yet. With this Knight of Cups in reverse, they might think this is like more fun or casual or just something they don't need to put a lot of emotions into. Because I do get the sense here there is something... Um, this could be your energy or this person's energy that definitely some healing needs to be done or they're going through some healing process. But for whatever reason, because um, I feel like that you guys do have some emotional connection to this person, but they're sp seeing that they see you as someone who doesn't want to be emotionally committed to them right now. And they like that because they, they feel like they don't have to fully put in all their emotions or be really vulnerable because I feel like they're hurt and they have some healing to do. Mm-hmm. And what they want from you, the hanged man in reverse, which is interesting. Yeah, they don't, the hanged man upright would be like sacrificing, like putting forth time and effort towards something you believe in or care about or towards yourself. They're, it's like self-sacrifice a little bit. They don't want to sacrifice themselves in any way. They don't want to be committed in any way. They want to have fun. They want 
Yeah, with this, this could be like a hyper social car. Like they want to go out, they want to hang out, they want, you know, they enjoy your company, but there's definitely a lot of energy here of not wanting a commitment at this time. Look at this. We have three major accounts here. This is pretty significant. Mm hmm. And we do, I feel called like to look at that straw. We do have a lot of water energy here, but that could also just be um, that lack of emotional um, vulnerability at this time. So what's holding them back? Judgment card. I feel like definitely something from the past. Um, maybe there's some healing that still needs to go on here. They could be still like reliving something from the past, like resurrecting memories from the past about someone or something that happened that they definitely need some healing here. They need to learn some lessons, do some healing. And that's what's really holding them back from commitment, from moving further than something casual and lighthearted. And what will it take to win them on your side? I feel like if you want to spend more time with this person, you want to, you know, have them in your life, whatever it is for your specific situation. We have the hero font in reverse. And to me, like in relationship readings, this is like the non-committal card. So if you're willing to do something non-traditional, non-committed with them, that is what they are looking for at this time. Mm hmm Yes. So, overall, yeah, I feel like this person, how they feel about you is they feel you are someone that they could have fun with, but not someone they want to have a committed relationship with. But they would like you in your life if you're willing to be like a no strings attached or non-committed at this time and not make things so official and not bring emotions into it or anything heavy because they're not, they would pull away if that happens and that is not what they want at this time. They're not wanting to, to go within, they're not wanting to commit, they're not wanting to take anything to a deeper level at this time. Again, you know, when we do these readings, we're reading current energy here. So I, there's definitely this energy that this person, you know, needs to heal. And maybe they're on that journey or maybe, you know, they're just not in the place right now for a commitment at all. Mm -hmm. Let's get a few more cards for you. What's going on with this person on group number one's mind, Spirit? If this came out in reverse, express your love, it, it, go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're not wanting to, ex, you know, express that. They're not wanting to fully communicate things. They're not ready to take it to that emotional level. And they're thinking right now that you're in the same boat. And maybe you are. Maybe you're okay with not taking it to that level at this time. Um they don't want it to be super romantic right now. They don't want it to get into that love phase. They're wanting things to like just be slow and casual and not, yeah, not emotional. So that's what they're wanting from you right now. Let's get another card. What else, Spirit? We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This did come in reverse here. Yeah, when this when emotions come up, um, yeah, and the, the, a lot of reversals in this deck right now. Um, it's this could be the one is in reverse here. This person is not. Yeah, I don't think this is something that spirit's calling, wanting you to spend a lot of your energy on. Um, you know, they're not emotionally open right now. They're not emotionally available. And 
again, maybe you're in the same boat here because that's what they like about you, they're saying here. But Spirit wants you to know, like me, you know, if you are wanting love, you are wanting a committed relationship, you are wanting someone to be open emotionally, you know, to, to you, wanting a future with you, then this is not the person that Spirit's really calling you to put your attention and your energy towards. But if you are also on the same boat here, you are just wanting to have fun and not let emotions into it and just go with the flow for a while, then all you know, go for it. You do you whatever's best for you, but there's definitely this energy here that this person is not oops, okay, we'll take those two cards that just slipped out. We're gonna get some further advice and messages from spirit for you. What advice do you have? Drama alert. 1717 independence soul mission alone time learning healing aspiration that's that word healing again yeah i think spirit's calling you to separate from this person if that feels right to you alone time and this could also be what this person needs as well take a few deep breaths and focus inward you need time to think things over and consider your options at this time you must rely solely on yourself you might not believe it but you're headed in the right direction what appears to be a lull in activity is just a natural part of the process. Mm -hmm. Endless cycles, 23-23. Yeah, I feel like this will just be something that goes on and on, you know, hoping they're going to change, but they don't. Repetitive circumstances and patterns. You might be really healing through this connection, group number one. Maybe you, there's a pattern of going for um, people who are not um, emotionally available, and you're you're meant to like learn a lesson and heal in this way that could be you might go for people who are emotionally unavailable to as a protective measure because you don't want to get hurt so that might be why you come off to other people that you're not open to that either you you have that vibe because that's what you're going after but it's because you have this protective mechanism up and spirit wants you to become aware of that and learn that lesson and then and do that healing work and now you'll be able to draw in the person that you truly want and deserve and that has the same values and wants as you. There's some truth you're resistant to accept over and over again until you're tired and restrained beyond depression. It takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion. Then you make a change in the world around you follows. Yeah, maybe this, I feel like not maybe this is spirit calling you to take some steps um, to healing especially if you feel like this type of situationship or person has been happening again and again, whether it be with the same person or just same types of people, same situations seem to be happening. There's some healing there. And I really do feel like there's some message coming through from spirit that there is something here with acting like you don't want this, something emotional with people. And it's like to just to protect yourself because you've been hurt in the past in whatever way. Um, so healing that will then allow you to attract people who are emotionally available and wanting that commitment and that love that I feel like deep down you really desire. I mean, we are human. We all crave connection and love, whether we want to admit it or not. All right. Well, that concludes your reading, group number one, your quick reading about how this person feels. I hope you got some good insight, some good guidance and advice and messages from your spirit team today. I really do hope you got value from this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you wish. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. I'll leave all that down below along with the promo code. So thank you so much for being here. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number one. Welcome, group number two, to your reading. So how does the person in your mind feel about you? If you don't already have someone in your mind specifically, take a moment now um, to think of someone and have them in your mind when I shuffle here. Thank you so much for being here, by the way, group number two. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading today. Thank you, Spirit, for your clear and accurate messages. How does the person on group number two's mind currently feel about them? What does this person like about group number two? What do they really want from group number two?
what do they what do they truly want at this time from group number two what is holding them back I'll we'll kind of put that with that flipped over before I ask the other question. What will it take to win them on group number two's side? Bottom of the deck, we have six of cups. I mean, this is someone you've known for a while. It doesn't have to be. All right. How does the person on your mind currently feel about you? What do they like about you? It's really interesting. The five of swords came up. They might really like your witty banter. They might really like how you communicate. You might be a little bossy, a little, you know, have a little toot or something like that. And um, they might like that you seem more dominant in some way. They like your dominant side. Because what... What they want from you is less mothering. That's what I, I saw from the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I'm not sure if you're a feminine watching this, but if you are, like sometimes we have um, a tendency, some women do, to kind of mother their man or like other men, like try to take care of them and do things for them. But if you look into like feminine energy and stuff like that. Maybe you might even be called to look up videos about like black cat energy and stuff. That's not really the way to always, for most men, um, or, you know, to masculines, I should say, to attract them. So this person wants you to be, I don't know, this is interesting. Less in your like motherly nurturing energy and more in your like spicy, like charismatic, like feisty energy, I'm a little dominant here. Very interesting. Hmm. Yeah, you know, let's just look at everything, then we'll kind of pull this together. So what's holding them back? Five of cups in reverse. And then the world in reverse. I what's coming through is they might not be ready to settle down because the world card is a completion card. This is like happily ever after, like, you know, I would be like, this is like a happily ever after couple. And I feel like with this too, they might want to like just see what their other options are in life. Maybe they've had some rough love experiences in the past and now they're feeling good. And now they just want to make sure like before they commit for like the ever after energy type here. Mm hmm And what will it take to win on her side? The seven of wands in reverse. Maybe letting your guard down a little bit. Hmm. You know, sometimes the seven of wands in reverse could be like really putting in a lot of effort, but to no avail, like not succeeding here. So it might not, this person might not, I feel like they're not looking for this true love here right now. Um, I feel like they, they seem like they're not ready to settle down with this world card in reverse here. And there might be someone from the past that they're still uh, stuck on. Yeah, with that six of cups on the bottom here, I think there's this energy that there's someone from the past that maybe they considered to be their true love that they're they're not fully over. They're in a better place than they used to with the five of cups upright and stuff, but they're not fully over someone from the past. Maybe someone they've had a child with, if that applies. Someone could have moved away as well. Yeah, there's just a lot of non-committal energy here, past heartbreak. Um, you 
you know, another thing, the person might like that they can dominate you in some way. Yeah, I don't know if I, for, for some of you, this could be some energy like they, they like that they feel like they can manipulate you in the situation and get what they want from you. Hmm. And what do they want from you? Yeah, they don't want like the wife. They don't want the wifey here with the queen of pentacles. And if I'm saying the wrong gender and stuff, just apply it to your situation. You know, the husband, whatever you identify as. Um, but since this is a queen, I'm referring it to a feminine. So yeah, I don't think they really want the wifey to settle, someone to settle down with, someone to have the home with. I feel like they like, I, they feel like they feel like they have an advantage over you for some reason, because I feel like maybe you really do care about this person and they might be a little manipulative here because they don't want commitment. And it looks like no matter what they, it seems like even if you try really hard that's at this time, you know, they're not going to change their mind here. So honestly, I feel like this person might have some hidden agenda or just be like that they have this control over you in some sort of sense. And if you're looking for true love, I feel like this is not it. This person isn't, um, isn't looking for that with you right now. Sure. What's going on with this person? Can you tell us more? Finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They could be way more focused on their career and money right now and just not wanting a relationship or they don't feel like they can afford a relationship. Oh, I hope they're not wanting, asking you for money or anything like that. If they are asking you for money, I would really think twice about that. Soulmate in reverse. Yes, yeah, you know, like I, I, you know, this might not be the reading you guys wanted to hear, but you needed to hear, you know, um, Superior doesn't want you to think this is your soulmate. Maybe they, they might be a little narcissistic and say things to you to get what they want from you. And I'm, I feel like Spirit wants you to know, like, yeah, this is not, this is not it. Mm -hmm. Let's get some advice and some guidance from Spirit now with the angel number and angel message for group number two. But yeah, to sum it up, group number two, this person has their own agenda here. They're not wanting to commit, and they might be, um, you know, using your kindness and your love, or like, you know, your feelings for this them to their advantage to get something, whether it's, you know, something intimate or financial or just whatever it is. And I feel like Spirit wants you to know, like, you deserve true love and this is not your soulmate. Um they're not going to commit no matter how hard you try and stuff like that. And you shouldn't really have to try that hard. And you, so I think your, your spirit guides just really want you to be aware of this. Even, you know, and, and I'm sure this isn't what you want to hear, but again, it's like what your spirit guides want you to hear now. I'm not going to be that reader that BSs, you know, or sugarcoats things because I want the best for you and I love you and so does your your spirit guys I'd be doing them dirty too because they're trying to come through and talk to you so um spirit what guidance what messages do you have something flipped over we have two that flipped over here and one is change yeah spirit's really five 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 spirit's calling change and you're gonna level up from this person you guys for real it might not feel good initially to leave this person or move on from them, but it will prepare you to handle the greater things in life for your highest good. Push through it. There's a reward waiting at the finish line. Yeah, you're being encouraged to, ch to make changes here. You deserve, you know, that love. Like, readjustments. Wow, change and readjustments came out. I feel like, uh, yeah. 
spirits calling you to make some change and readjustments and they're they're trying to redirect you to someone else who is your soulmate readjustments um your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right on the horizon is the possibility of beginning a new romantic or platonic friendship as well as a chance to begin life anew with a person from one's past everything will fall to pieces yeah so spirit is saying you have self-control you're able to resist this person you can get through this you can overcome them and spirit's going to point you in the direction of a new relationship here new person this could even be it says someone from your past this could even be a past life or something like that we did have that six of cups so someone from the past not this person could be coming into your life again but it could be someone totally new as well but spirit is really calling you to to recognize this and know you deserve the best you deserve love whatever it is you're desiring you deserve so some change and readjustments in terms of this connection are um being you know or what you're being guided to do so spirit can bring that true love into your life that soulmate whatever it is you are desiring at this time all right group number two and that was your Quick reading on how the person in your mind currently feels about you. I hope you got the insight into this, the guidance, the messages you needed most at this time. I really do hope you got value from this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. I'll link that below along with the promo code. We can get more into your specific situation or get some guidance or do anything you want. And there's going to be some new offerings um, up as well. But anyways, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number two. Welcome, group number three to your reading. What does the person on your mind or how does the person on your mind currently feel about you? If you don't already have someone in your mind right now, please take a moment to think of them and have them in your mind as I shuffle. Thank you so much for being here, group number three. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading today. Thank you, Spirit, for your clear and accurate messages. How does this person currently feel about group number three? So card position one, what do they like about group number three? That came out in the same position in group number one. Um, what do they truly want from group number three at this time? And this came out in the same position in group number two. <laughs> what? I don't know if you guys were drawn. Um, okay. What is holding them back? What will it take to win them on their side? Knight of Wands in reverse. This can be player energy sometimes. All right. Let's get started. So what do they like about you? Knight of Cups in reverse. So you may come off to this person as not wanting emotional commitment right now. And they like that about you. You know, so that's suggesting they don't really want emotional commitment either. They might also, sometimes the Knight of Cups in reverse can be like emotional instability in a way. So they might kind of like, maybe you seem emotionally vulnerable in, to them and, and maybe they, they like that because they feel like they can use that to their advantage. It doesn't have to be that dark, but um, you guys might be, if you were attracted to or felt called to watch group number one or two, I would suggest that just because these card positions... It's interesting. Um, but let's just kind of go through them all and sum it up. So what do they want from you? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this could be like less motherly, motherly, mothering energy. Sometimes, you know, we can, instead of being like a romantic partner or something like that, we can act as a mother 
um, especially if you identify as a, you know, a woman here, and they might not want that like smothering, smothering type energy, or you always checking in on them, seeing what they're doing, making sure they got to work on time that they ate, you know, all those things. They might not want you to do that. But I also feel like with what do they want with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is like they don't want that home, that wifey or husband like material right now. Um, what's holding them back? The Eight of Cups in reverse. They want something else. For whatever reason, they feel like in your connection something is missing and they're, they want, they're searching elsewhere. They're not looking for commitment here they want to go elsewhere and there also could be for some of you maybe this person is planning on traveling or moving so they that could be something that's holding them back like they don't want to commit because they are going to be traveling here and what will it take to win them on your side the tower card this is like major change like insane change like maybe for some of them They could have like other relationships in their life going on right now. And it could be like, maybe if those crumble and stuff, then they'd be more available. This is like drastic change would have to happen in order for them to be wanting commitment. Um, if that is what you are seeking. Yeah. So... All the readings today, not the same messages, but similar vibes. Got the non-committal vibes here today. Uh, so, yeah, for whatever reason you come out, I, I mean, I'm just assuming that you guys have emotional connection to this person. You, you're inquiring about how they feel, so I think you want things to be different. You have some something you're wanting from them or... You know, you care about them in some capacity, but you come off to them as someone who's not wanting to be emotionally open and stuff. They might think you're on their level here and you just want to have fun and not be emotionally involved. Yeah. I really do get that they're after just having fun and I feel like there could be someone else in the picture and that would that person's holding them back from committing to you but also yeah they're just looking elsewhere they're not settling down they are not wanting to settle down here and i feel like maybe you guys are picking up on this energy that they are doing other things other people you know like they're not always around and you guys might be always on your phone or always wondering about what they're doing always texting always looking at their instagram or whatever you know um because they're giving you that energy. They're not giving you that commitment. They're not giving you the time of day. They're not fully present. They might ghost sometimes or, you know, maybe they've already ghosted completely and in, in, in you're wondering how they feel about you. Yeah, they, they're searching elsewhere. But Spirit's like, you don't need to keep looking. If they're giving you that energy, then that's, the, you know, then they're not fully there and you deserve more of that attention if that's what you want you don't deserve someone who goes to you or leaves you unread or just doesn't talk to you for days or doesn't treat you the way you want if you are looking for something more if you're okay with just like you know randomly hanging out with this person or whatever then maybe but i really sense that that's not the case here let's get what's going on spirit what's going on with this person Religious factors in reverse. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe you guys have different um, spiritual or religious backgrounds, or they just aren't very spiritual, and you are, and you feel like a spiritual connection to someone you might be intimate with in any capacity, and they just do not feel that way. I feel like they are searching elsewhere for for a connection here very soon. Yeah. I don't think that if you they have ghosted or they have been absent, I don't think they're going to be communicating really now. I feel like they're traveling or they're doing something. I feel like you guys might be wanting this person to like be 
a soulmate type energy. I feel like they could have like a wife or, or, or a boy, what, husband or girlfriend or something like that. Or they have an ex that they're really hung up on or they're seeing other people that's really coming through for some reason here. And there's also this, like guidance maybe for you. Um, stepping more into your spiritual practice right now will help heal you and also call in your real soulmate. Like something about your spiritual practice, you could do prayer, affirmation, visualizations to help you, you know, bring your ideal partner in. And maybe be open-minded. Maybe you want this specific person really bad. The spirit wants you to be open-minded to who it is. But maybe, you know, there are a lot of... Um, Law of Attraction channels you can find here that will help you get a specific person if you want to focus on that, but they it might. it's going to take a lot for a lot of change for this person to come around and want the same things as you. Spirit, can we get an angel number, angel message, advice, what guidance for group number three, please? Look at all these threes for group number three. I feel like this has come up for your group before. Um, the problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angel encourages you to maintain a positive outlook on life since your luck may be about to change. It is time to put your captivating energy and inspirational personality. Don't let your ego get the best of you. Okay, for some of you guys, if you're really wanting this person, you know, um... You're being called to have a more positive outlook and to step more into your, your spiritual practice here and to start using the prayers, affirmations, visualizations. Maybe look up, um, like follow YouTube channels that are all about this too that can help with your mindset like Rita Kaminsky or any of the law of attraction or law of assumption people um, could help you if you're feeling called to that. But also this like really having more optimism that you will find your person or things will work out. And look, the problems you have today will eventually disappear. So perhaps you guys are on a no contact or something going on with this person. And it might not be very soon. But, you know, if you change your mindset and work on your spiritual practice, your, your, you know, do the affirmations, there could be some drastic change here. And eventually your problems will disappear, whether it's getting over this person or mending things with this person. But your guardian angels want you to maintain a positive outlook. A lucky, your luck may be about to change. Use your captivating energy. Yeah, I feel like you guys are powerful. Well, you, of course, you're, you're, you're powerful manifestors. And there's this message here with this Knight of Cups in reverse. Maybe you come off as not emotionally available to these people. And that's why you attract people into your life that don't seem emotionally um, committal, like they're not wanting to commit to you, but they, they, you know, you're attracting them because maybe they think you're on the same page, but in reality, you want your soulmate. So there could be something here with really doing some healing work. Like why do you keep drawing in the same types of people or people that aren't emotionally available or why are you attracted to that? And it could be a, a really big protective mechanism because maybe you had some neglect or abandonment issues in the past or you were hurt in the past. So your, your ego is trying to protect you, you know, you are, it's trying to protect you by acting that way. So you, you attract people like that. Spirit's calling you to really work on that. And you could do so by using prayers, affirmation, whatever um, it is, journaling, really look into why you may be having that energy and why you may be attracting those specific person and people and work on that and that and work on your spiritual practice and your healing. And then you're going to start attracting people um, that are committed, that are emotionally available, that are like, you know, soulmates here mm -hmm. so hopefully that made sense I feel like there's a lot of guidance coming through for you as well now at this end of this reading to really work on um, why you may be attracting people like this and work on your mindset and there's some tools coming through from spirit to help you do so here and you know through that you can make some drastic changes anything is possible you are limitless have to believe in yourself and do the healing work and 
things will just keep getting better and better. All right, group number three. And that concludes your reading. I love you guys so much. I hope this was helpful in some some way. I hope it gave you some insight, some guidance, the messages you needed most at this time. If you did get value from this reading, which I really do hope you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. I'll leave that down below along with promo code to help you save. Um, yeah, since you're my YouTube friend, it's just for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number three.